One of David's great cries for the Lord's presence and comfort is in Psalm 42. He says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while men say to me all day long, Where is your God? Psalm 42 and 43 have a refrain that repeats, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my God and my Savior. That's a question for ourselves, for our souls, for our spirits. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why downcast? Why disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Jesus said, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And one of them, not one of them, will fall to the ground apart from your Father. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. Sevilla Martin's great hymn lives on, and it's great for this time that we're going through. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion? My constant friend is he, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. I sing because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Let not your heart be troubled, his tender word I hear, and Resting on his goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Though by the path he leadeth, but one step I may see. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Whenever I am tempted, whenever clouds arise, when songs give place to sighing, when hope within me dies, I draw the closer to him. From care he sets me free his eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Overheard in an orchard a couple lines that are often heard, good to hear them today as well. Said the robin to the sparrow, I should really like to know why these anxious human beings rush about and worry so. Said the sparrow to the robin, friend, I think that it must be that they have no heavenly father such as cares for you and me. The Apostle Peter reminds us to cast all of our care, all of our anxiety on the Lord with that confidence that he cares for us. And so we pray, Lord, grant us peace and security as we trust in your love and your care for us. Amen.